Hi, welcome to a Tango Technique class video from my bedroom. Uh, today is going to be quite basic. It's going to be for men and women. Uh, if you're a woman, I recommend you to do this without high heels. So just uh, use socks or flats or anything comfortable that lets you put weight on the whole foot, on the floor. Uh, it's going to be quite basic. I'm going to do every exercise with you. We will do this together. And uh, the program is going to be, we will start with a very easy warm-up. Then we will do a set of exercises to improve our posture, so for our back. Then we will continue with a set of exercises for balance, which is a basic quality that you have to work. So we will target the standing leg, basically. And then we will finish with a set of exercises for pivots, very basic, because it also connects with balance and with your standing leg. So, Let's start, okay? Okay, warm up. So start with your feet together and uh, just uh, take a few seconds to breathe deeply, relax, make sure that your posture is straight, feel the weight of your body going uh, down on your feet and on the floor. And then we start with shoulder rotations. So make sure that you only use the shoulder, yeah? So that you don't do this with the elbows, just the shoulder. And we will do 10 times, okay? So, one, yeah, slowly, two, three, feel your upper back relaxing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, slowly, and 10, okay? The next one is we will do circles with the arms, like this. So you start with the arms down, you put them in front of you, then you lift them up, make sure that they are straight, that they are not bent, yeah? And make sure that you relax the, uh, the shoulders, and then you open to the sides. At this point you will feel your chest opening, stretching, and then back down, yeah? So we will do 10. One, down, two, Stretch the arms, three, relax the shoulders, four, very nice, five, both arms the same, yeah, both arms the same, six, seven, very good, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now the next exercise is going to be a stretch for the torso. So it's like this. First you lift one arm and you point it up, yeah? And then with this hand, you slide the hand down your leg until you can touch the side of your knee. And you try to stretch the other hand as much as you can to the side and you hold it for three seconds so you feel this uh, stretch on your side, yeah? And then, with this hand, you pull yourself up again until this position, and then you drop the arm. And then you repeat the same to the other side. Lift the arm, slide your hand down the leg until you touch your knee, stretch the side, hold it for three seconds, and then pull yourself up again, and then drop the arm. So we will do five times each side, okay? One, slide down, Hold it, and up, and one to this side, slide down, hold it, pull up, wait, that was one, four more, two, slide down until you touch the knee, hold it, up, down, lift the arm, slide down, ah, it feels good, yeah? And then three, lift the arm, slide on your leg, hold it three seconds, then pull up, three, lift the arm, slide down your leg, touch the knee, hold it three seconds, and four, down the leg, hold it, up, and this side, up, Go down the leg, hold it, pull up, and the last time, lift the arm, slide down the leg, 
hold it three seconds, then up, and this side, lift the arm, slide down the leg, hold it, and up. Okay, the next exercise is going to be a rotation for your middle, which is basic for tango, very important. So we open the legs, we bend the knees slightly, we keep the hip and the head looking forward during the whole exercise, we make a circle with the arms, not too high, on the level of your chest, yeah? And then we rotate the torso like this, yeah? So we're going to do 20, yeah? And one, and two, and three, and four, relax, yeah? Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, ten more, and one, and two, don't move the hips, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Okay, very good. Now, we stretch the knees, and the next exercise is going to be a stretch for the lower back, which will help with posture and with flexibility. So what we do is we place our hands behind our head, we push the elbows back, and then I'm going to do it profile, so you see it properly. First, we bend on the hips, and we go down, we keep the back straight, and we go down until the back is parallel to the floor, more or less like this. And then we continue going down until our head is down, and then we bounce here three times. One, two, three. Then from here, we recover, the straight back parallel to the floor and then we go up and this is one yeah we're going to do ten okay so one parallel to the floor go down bounce one two three parallel to the floor and up two go down parallel to the floor bounce one two three parallel to the floor go up three, parallel to the floor, go down, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, go up, four, parallel to the floor, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, go up, five, parallel to the floor, one, two, three, go up, six, Parallel to the floor, go down, bounce, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, go up, uh, seven, parallel to the floor, down, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, eight, parallel to the floor, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, go up, nine, parallel to the floor, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, go up, and ten, parallel to the floor, go down, one, two, three, parallel to the floor, and go up. Okay, now, the next one, there are only two left, next one, we keep the legs open, we grab our hips with our hands, and we're going to do circles with the hip. So we're going to move to keep the head here, we're going to go back with the hip, then we're going to move the hip to the side, and then front, and then to the other side, and then back. Yeah, so we make a complete circle. Be careful, don't move the head. Yeah, some people do this. No, you're moving the head, you have to, to move your, your hip. And we're going to do 10 to each direction. So, one, Rotation with the hip, two, three, four, slowly, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we change direction. One, two, three, and four, and 
five, make a big circle, six, very good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and the last one, we close the legs, we bend the knees like this, and then we bounce three times, one, two, three, very relaxed, then we stretch the knees, and then we go on the ball of the foot, we go up. I like to think about this exercise like pushing the floor down, you are pushing the floor down. And then we put the heels on the floor again, and then we repeat with the bounce of the knees, yeah? So we're going to do 10 times. So, first one, one, two, three, stretch knees, go up, hold it three seconds, and then down. Two, one, two, three, go up, toes, hold it three seconds, go down. Three, one, two, three, stretch, go up, go down. Four, one, two, three, Stretch, go up, go down. Five, one, two, three, go up, hold it, go down. Six, one, two, three, go up, hold it, go down. Seven, one, two, three, go up, hold it, go down. Eight, one, two, three, go up, hold it, go down, nine, one, two, three, go up, hold it, go down, and ten, one, two, three, go up, hold it, and go down, and we're finished with the warm-up. The next set of exercises is going to be for our backs, for posture, and it works like this. You need a wall and you put your hip on the wall like this, like you are sitting and the feet are a bit apart from the wall, otherwise it's a bit difficult and uh, shoulder apart more or less. And it works like this, first you start with the back bent forward like this and you relax and then the idea is to put your back on the wall starting from the lower back vertebra by vertebra, slowly, then you continue up your back, putting it on the wall, middle of the back, then shoulder plates, then chest, and then the head. The head is the last thing to touch the wall. And from here, you roll down again. First is the head, and then the head pulls the rest of the back with it away from the wall, round, like this. Yeah? until you return to the start position. We're going to do this eight times, yeah? So you start like this, and then roll your back up, slowly. Um, very slowly, very slowly. One. And then roll it down from the head. Head, shoulders, shoulder blades, middle of the back, lower of the back, hip. Don't move the hip. Yeah, this was one, so we do seven more. Two, slowly roll up until the head, and then from the head down, roll down until the hip. Three, slowly roll up until the head and then roll down from the head until the hip. Four, roll up, vertebra by vertebra, very slowly, and down from the head until the hip. Five, roll up, slowly, this is very relaxing, until the head, and then from the head, down, until the hip, relax the arms, six, roll up, slowly, 
slowly until the head and then from the head down round until the hip uh, seven roll up until the head and then from the head down slowly roll down until the hip and the last one eight roll up push your back into the wall vertebra by vertebra until the head and then roll down from the head to the hip okay now comes the second part of the exercise so from this position we're going to roll up again huh? so our whole back is on the wall and the next movement is like this we are going to roll away from the wall but starting from the hip so you keep your head on the wall and then you roll your hip forward like this and then you continue up your back until the back is away from the wall you can leave your shoulders on the wall and then from this position you are going to put your back out on the wall again vertebra by vertebra starting from the shoulders and finishing on the hip ok, so we are going to do 8 again so from the hip, 1 roll up until the shoulders and then roll down from the shoulders to the hip 2 roll up to the shoulders and down to the hip 3 roll up from hip to shoulders and roll down to the hip 4 roll up to the shoulders and then roll down to the hip 5 roll up to the shoulders and then roll down to the hip 6 roll up from the hip to the shoulders and then from the shoulders to the hip down 7 roll up Boom. then down to the hip and the last one 8 roll up from the hip to the shoulders slowly and then from the shoulders to the hip great very good this should give you a very straight back and then um, the last exercise you will need a stick like this and this exercise will help you place the shoulders in the right position because uh, we have the tendency to put the shoulders forward sometimes so this will place your shoulders back again so what, uh, how it works, you grab the stick like this quite wide, yeah, because then the, the exercise is easier and then you put it in front of you and then you put it above your head like this and then if you can you go all the way down to your back yeah? And then from here, again, you put it above your head and then down in front of you, yeah? If you cannot go all the way, then I, you can go until your limit, yeah? If it's like this, then it's, it's good, yeah? Every time you practice, you will be able to go a bit further, a bit further, and eventually uh, you will be able to go all the way. Um, the wider you grab the stick, the easier it is. If you grab the uh, stick a bit more narrow, like this, it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah? So, just find a distance that is comfortable for you. And we're going to do eight times. So, one, back, and front, 
and two, back, front, three, back, and front, four, back, and front, five, back, and front, six, back, and front, seven, back, and front, and eight, back, and front. Okay? So that's it. That's the block for the back, for your posture. This will improve your embrace, your, your, your posture. And uh, uh, usually, I repeat the whole thing uh, twice more. So if you want, you can stop the video, repeat these exercises, and then we'll continue with the next block. Okay, the next set is for balance on one leg, which is really important in tango. And it's a set of four exercises, and I'm going to show you uh, all of them. So the first one, I do it on profile so that you can see it better. Um, you start with your feet together, straight posture, breathe, relax, like always. Put your weight on one foot, this leg is free. The first movement is to lift your leg your knee in front of you. The second is to extend your leg behind you until your toes touch the floor. The third is to put your weight on both legs and then go down until your knee touches the floor. And the last movement is to return to this position, yeah, with the knee lifted. And that's a one repetition. So we're going to do eight, okay? We will do it together. So, one, lift the knee, extend the leg, go down, and go up. Two, lift the knee, extend the leg, go down, and go up. Three, that's the floor, go down, and go up. Four, lift the knee, that's the floor behind you, go down, and go up. Five, lift the knee, that's the floor. Go down, go up, six, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down, go up, seven, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down, go up, and Eight, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down, and go up, okay? If this is too difficult without support, you can support yourself on the wall, yeah? Or you can take a chair, grab a chair, it's okay, yeah? The goal is to do it without support. Now, we have to do the other leg. So I'm changing now my weight to the right leg. Straight posture and start. One, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down and go up. Two, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down and go up. Three, lift the knee, extend the leg behind you, touch the floor. Go down, go up. Four, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down, and go up. Five, lift the knee, touch the floor, go down, and go up. Six, lift the knee, touch the floor behind you, Go down 
go up. Seven, lift the knee, extend the leg, touch the floor, go down, and go up. Last one. Eight, lift the knee, touch the floor behind you, then go down, weight on both legs, that's very important, and go up. Okay? That was the first exercise. The second is very similar. I'm putting my weight on the left leg again. So it starts in the same way. This is the first movement. You lift the leg. The second, you extend the leg behind you, but this time you don't touch the floor. You lift the foot on the air. Yeah? And the third movement is you bend the standing leg. Yeah? When you do this movement, make sure that you are not going forward with the torso. Don't do this. Yeah? Because then your leg is not working so much. You have to stay straight and then bend the knee, which is more difficult. And then up, and then from here you go straight into this position again. So your free leg never touches the floor. It's your standing leg working all the time. So let's do eight. Wish me luck. <laughs> so, lift one, lift the knee, extend the leg, bend the standing knee, and stretch the standing knee. Two, lift the knee, extend the leg, bend the standing leg, stretch standing leg. Three, lift the knee, extend the free leg, bend standing leg, stretch standing leg. Four, oops, lift the knee, stretch behind you, bend, stretch. Five, lift the knee, Raise the leg, bend, and stretch. Oh, sorry. Six. Lift the knee, extend behind you, bend the knee, and stretch. Seven. Oops. This is difficult. Lift the knee, stretch behind you. Bend and stretch. And last one, lift the knee, eight, stretch behind you, bend and stretch. Okay? Ha! Huh, it's hard. So, the other leg, let's torture the other leg a little bit, eight times. So, put your weight on the right leg. Breathe, relax, and then lift the knee, stretch the leg behind you, bend the leg, and stretch the leg. One, two, lift the knee, stretch the leg behind you, bend the knee, and stretch. Three, Lift the knee, stretch the leg behind you, bend and stretch. Four, lift the knee, stretch behind, bend and stretch. Five, lift the knee, stretch behind you. Bend and stretch. Six, lift the knee in front of you, stretch the leg behind you, bend the standing leg, stretch the standing leg. Seven, lift, extend behind you, bend and stretch. And eight, lift. 
extend behind you, bend and stretch. Okay? Good. So the good news is that the third exercise is much easier than this. And uh, it works like this. You start with open legs, stretch knees, and weight in the center. Yeah? And then what you do is you shift your weight to one leg, then you cross the free leg behind you, and then you put your weight on both legs and you go down. Yeah? Make sure that the weight is on both legs until your knee is on the floor. And if you do it right, then it should be behind the front heel, okay? And then you go up, up. And then you open the legs again, and then you cross with this leg to the other side, like this. And then you put your weight on the center, and then you go down, like this. Knee on the floor, ideally behind this heel, and then up again, and then you return to the start position like this. So let's do eight. Each side is one. Okay, so we cross back, we go down, one, and we open. And now one to the other side. Cross back, weight on both legs, go down, and up. This was one, seven more. Cross back, down, up, open, cross back, down, up, open, three. Cross back, down, up, open, cross back, down, up, open. If you want, you can put your hands on your hips. Four, cross back, go down, weight on both legs, go up, and open. Cross back, go down, up, and open. Five, cross back, go down, and open. Cross back, go down, go up, and open. Uh, six, I think. Cross back, down, up, open, cross back, down, up, open. Seven, cross back and down, up, open, cross back, down, up, open. Last one, cross back, down, up, open, cross back, down, up, open. And we did eight. And the last exercise is good for side steps and for balance as well. And it works like this. You put your uh, feet together and then you put your weight on one leg. For example, the left one or the right, doesn't matter. And then you are going to do two movements at the same time. You are going to bend the standing leg down like this and at the same time you are going to open the free leg to the side like this, extend it, yeah? And we're going to do eight each side. First we're going to do this side, so weight on the left, then bend the standing leg, extend the free leg and flex your foot, yeah? Think of the heel, okay? And then one, bend and extend, two, Try to keep your hips straight, yeah? Don't do this, yeah? Try to keep your hips straight. Three, close. Four, bend the leg, extend the free leg. And five, bend the leg, extend the free leg. Six, bend the leg, extend the free leg. Seven, Go down, extend, and the last one, eight, bend the standing leg, extend the free leg, and then go down to the beginning. Now switch the weight to the other leg, and then let's do eight more to the other side. So, bend the standing leg, extend the free leg, one, 
return to the start position. Two, bend the leg, extend the free leg. Close. Three, bend the leg, extend the free leg. Close. Four, bend the leg, extend the free leg. Close. Five, bend standing leg, extend the free leg, flex the foot. Close. Six, bend standing leg, extend free leg. Close. Seven, bend standing leg, extend free leg. And eight, bend, extend, and close. And this was the set for balance. Now, I would recommend you to repeat this whole set at least twice more, that's what I do. So you can stop the video, repeat this block, and then we'll continue with the last block. Okay, the last block is going to be pivots. It's going to be very simple. And it's going to be like this. We're going to start with the first exercise, which is a preparation for pivot. And it's good for dissociation. So we start with the feet together, straight posture, and we put our weight on one foot. It doesn't matter which one. I am on the left. And then I lift my uh, right foot a little bit above the floor, just a few centimeters up. And I keep my two legs really together. I try that they don't open. Yeah? And then embrace posture. And then we're not going to pivot yet. The only thing we're going to do is to turn our torso to the left, then to the center, and then to the right. Yeah? and then to the center again, yeah? This is the exercise. We're going to do eight on each leg, okay? So start with the left, and then one, left, center, right, center. Two, left, center, right, center. Three, left, center, right, center. Four, left, center, right, center. Five, left, center, left, center. Six, Left, center, right, center, seven, left, center, right, center, last one, eight, left, center, right, center. Okay, so what you need for this exercise is to keep your core engaged, yeah, and to look in your horizon, and if you can find a spot to fix your eyes on, that helps a lot with balance, yeah. So we're going to change the weight. Now I'm on the right. I lift my left foot. Now I'm going to change to the woman's embrace because you can do that too, yeah. And then we will do eight again. Right. Center, left, center, two, right, center, left, center, three, right, center, left, center, four, right, Center, left, center, six, right, center, left, center, seven, right, center, left, center. Okay? Now, <clears throat> the next one, we're going to pivot. So I change my weight to the left, 
I lift my right foot, tango embrace, and then we're going to do 90 degrees pivot. We start with the torso like we did before, like this, and then we engage our core and we turn our hip and our foot, like this. And we're going to do eight. So we're going to do two full circles, okay? So now I'm going to turn in the direction of my standing leg, okay? So tango embrace, and then let's go. One, torso, hip. Two, torso, hip. Three, torso, hip. Four, torso, hip. Five, torso, hip. Six, torso, hip. Seven, torso, hip. Eight, torso, hip. Yeah? So, one tip is when you turn the torso and then you have to turn the hip, there is to push down with your standing leg as if it was a screwdriver going into the floor. So you push down. This will help you with balance. Now let's do it the same with the other leg. So I put my weight on the right, I lift my left, now I take the other embrace, and then eight pivots, 90 degrees. One, torso, hip. Two, torso, hip. Three, torso, hip. Push down. Four, torso, hip. 5, torso, hip, 6, torso, hip, 7, torso, hip, 8, torso, hip, okay? Now, <clears throat> we're going to change our weight to the left again, and now we're going to do the pivot away from the standing leg. Before we were doing the pivot in the direction of the standing leg, now we're going to do it the opposite. It's a little bit more difficult, but it's very useful, okay? So, tango embrace, straight posture, engage your core, and let's go. One, torso, hip. Two, torso, hip. Three, torso, hip. Four, torso, hip. Five, torso, hip. Six, torso, hip. Seven, torso, hip. Eight, torso, hip. And now let's do the same with the other leg. Change your weight. Now I'm on the right, I lift my left, I take the other embrace, and then we turn away from our standing leg, okay? Eight times. One, torso, hip. Two, torso, hip. Three, torso, hip. Four, torso, hip. Five, torso, hip. Six, torso, hip. Seven, torso, hip. Eight, torso, hip. That's it. So, I would recommend you to do this last block of pivots two times more, yeah? To really, really practice your balance and your stability. Thank you very much. I hope you like this class and see you next time.